Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, this should be the fifth video in a series. It is Thomas John, 2016. He's known as the Manhattan Medium. He's on the Above and Beyond show with Laura Smith. And it is Mother's Day, 2016. And we have learned since I started making these videos yesterday that Thomas John has, um, well, this is early Thomas John, but he's he hasn't learned a new trick. He's still doing the same trick, even though this, does that make sense? He started out, okay, well, this is early. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm sure it will make sense too. What he does is I assumed these were all cold reading. I know that this um, host is his friend. She knows his mom and, and they do events together and all sorts of other stuff. So I know that um, because I've been receiving information from other people and I have a screenshot, I put it up on earlier that what happens is Thomas John asks on Facebook who wants a reading for an event I'm going to be doing and then people say yes I'd like to have a, a reading and he looks he can he can look at their Facebook pages because they're right there where you can look at them and then and then he says hey yeah um call at this number and then when the person gets on they get a reading and he's able to get a lot of hits I think it usually starts out with a with a cold reading to some extent, because whenever I don't think that uh, Laura Smith or any of her staff or any of those other people, the screener or anything like that, are in on this. So if somebody calls in and all Thomas John gets is the first name of Jennifer, which I assume that's what they do. They only give them the first name and no other information. Then he starts out with a kind of a generic reading, um, usually um, an older per person uh, around you, mother, fa fither, uh, mother figure, father figure, grandmother, grandfather figure around you. Does that mean anything to you? And then as he's progressing with the reading, he, he knows there's a Jennifer that is supposed to be calling in to get a reading. So he probably start slowly and then goes into a hot reading once he has more confidence that it's the right person. That's what I think is happening. That's what happened in the video, the second video that I have in this series. And I, that's what I, I think. Now I'm, I'm watching this for the first time. You're watching it with me. I have the video in the description underneath this video. So if you want to watch this video before you've heard my my response um you could do that you can watch the whole series or you can um, listen as i go right now and then pause before i give my what i'm going to say but please write your comments in the uh in the comment section down underneath this video because i'm really curious what you think if you see something that i missed or if you think i'm too too hard on these people or whatever i don't know so it's about two minutes Thomas, uh, two or three minutes that they get a reading. Thomas John has just come back from his break. He was gone about eight minutes or so. And so plenty of time to um, go check up on a, um, a Facebook page. It really doesn't take more than a couple of minutes to come up with content. So I think some of these people calling in are, he's giving them cold readings. He has no idea who they are. And I think some of these people are people who said that they would be there that night and call in. And so he's had time to go in and hot read them. That's what I think is going on. We're going to find out together. So give me your ideas, what you think. Okay, let's, let's go right to it and see what, see what we find. Uh, Thomas, who's here, and we are going to get right back into the phones. I say we go to um, news. Which uh, yes, um, uh, we're going to go to Angelica in Long Island News Two. Ah, he can see Hello. the screen. Hi there, Angelica. You're on with Thomas John. How are you? Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? What's your question, real quick? 
Sure. Um, I'm a student that's graduating in July, and I just wanted to know what he might see as far as, you know, where I might get a job and graduate school. Who's Charles? My grandfather. Is he passed? Yes. Yeah, he's very strong around you. He's kind of guiding you, actually. And he's saying that he, he was sick and then he crossed over. This was not a sudden thing, right? He was sick? Yeah, for a long time. Right. But he loves you very much. You were like his, you, you know, he's, did, are, are you like girls? Are you like one of girls? Like, or do you have sisters? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, he had five grandchildren. I'm the oldest, and there's three of us girls. Yeah, because he's talking about the girls, girls, girls. I see you in medical or psychology yeah. or something I'm like that. I'm a nursing that. student, actually. Yeah. Medical. Yeah, that's medical. So I see, you want to know about getting into graduate school? Yep. Oh, definitely. You're going to have many choices. I think you may have to move where you're from, but I see you having many choices, 100%. And your grandfather's very proud of you. He says you're the overachiever. <laughs> but you're going to definitely, you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 100%. Got a bad cough. But okay, you're going to get and, in, yes. Mm -hmm. And do you see um, either like Florida or New York? Well, you're in Florida now, right? Yep. No, I like you back in New York. Okay. But you're going to have options in both. But I, I think you should go and because you're going to start to have a family. You're going to want your mom around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> all right, Angelica, there you have it. Good luck with all of that. Wow. Quick, quick, quick. Right to. Wow. That was incredible. Oh, my gosh. How did he know who Charles was? How did he know she was in Florida? How did he know she was in med school or nursing? And he says, yeah, that's medical. People say, I have an attitude. Give me a break. Well, until I found out that he was looking at people's um, Facebook pages, you know, he's saying, hey, who wants a reading? And the people call in and they, I mean, they write in and, and then he exchanges emails with him. Until I knew that, I would have said that was really amazing. Just amazing. But now that we know, that he has looked at her Facebook page. How hard can that possibly be? She's got nursing pictures. She, she's, she's in Florida. He found a picture of her grandfather or something like that. Wow. You know, I, I don't like the way that, you know, he's giving her all this information. What, what happens if she gets into med school and she hates it, hates it? Her grandfather's really proud of her. So does that mean she stays in it? I mean, he's trying to pump her up and say, hey, you're going to be doing great. Grandfather loves you. And you're going to do such an amazing career. And you're going to be so great. And you could go into grad school, no problem. What happens if she hates it? Is she going to want to quit? What if she wants to go into business and have nothing to do with the medical field in the future? How's she going to feel? How many years is she going to have to try to talk herself out of doing this thing that she hates? What if she wants to go into zoology or oceanography or something that has zero to do with um, the med field, but loves maybe science? Well, apparently she's going to have children. She's, she needs to be close to her mom. So they make these, so uh, Thomas John makes these predictions for the future, knowing damn well he's never going to talk to her again. So she's never going to be able to tell him he's wrong, but it sure sounds good right now, doesn't it? Wow, very positive. I'm sure she left that call thinking how amazing he is, how absolutely unaware she is. He looked at her Facebook page. Well, no cold reading that at all. So if you, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm watching this at the exact same time you are. Um, and I can't make some, these into something that they're not. Um, if you like this channel, and you want to know, you want me to do more of these, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, and uh, leave comments. Because maybe I missed something, or maybe I've overthought something, or maybe um, you think I got something wrong. Please let me know. I respond to almost all the comments that are that are kind. <laughs> I get some pretty crazy comments. Somebody told me I look like a great-great-grandmother, and I should be baking cookies.
Okay. Somebody just called me a dirty dog, I think, the, uh, today. Something like that. It's, they're Really? Why would you take the time to get a comment like that to somebody? So let's see how many more of these videos we could do. That was quite something. Hmm.